Hello Widget Watchers, welcome back to another video. In this video we are going to learn about, how the theme is working in Flutter, like here if I'm tapping on this switch button then the theme is changing from light to dark or dark to light, and the colors of each component is changing according to that, so grab your cup of coffee and stay tuned for the next 9 minutes, so here I've this empty project, now come inside this build method of my home screen, and here let's first create the app bar. So here I have created the app bar which have the title. Then for the body create a column widget and add its main axis alignment and cross axis alignment to center, then come inside the children and here add the container, which will have height and width of 200. Then add the decoration parameter in which the border radius is going to be 20, and then add the color for this container. Then let's here also create a row widget and then place this container inside this row widget, and here copy this container and paste it one more time and then, add the main axis alignment to space evenly, and then change the second container color to red. Now come outside of this row widget and here add the text widget, then add the string to it, this going to be the title of our UI, then create one more text widget, which will have some sort of description, then change the column's cross cross axis alignment to start, then wrap this column widget inside a container and give this a padding of 15. Then here also change the container's height and width to 180. Now it is looking perfect, now let's do one more thing that change the row main axis alignment to space between. Ok now here create a sized box which will have height of 40 so that our container and text will have some space between them. Then add one more sized box between these two text widget, now here create one more row widget which will contain our elevated buttons, so here I have created this elevated button and this elevated button don't have any functionality, it's just a dummy showpiece. So just copy this button one more time and this is going to be button 2, now add this row main axis alignment to space evenly, and yeah now our UI is looking beautiful. Now let's do one more thing that copy this decoration parameter and add this to the above container and change its color to white. Then let's create the theme so for that here come inside the lib directory, and create a theme folder then inside the theme folder, create a theme constant class, and here let's first import the material, then here add the primary color to the deep purple, then create the secondary color to the purple, ok now first create the light theme for our application. So here add theme data, then light theme then afterwards, here add the theme data and inside it define its light theme property. So in the light theme, the brightness is going to be light, and the primary color is going to be primary color. Then define the theme for the specific component. So let's assume we have a floating action button, and we are going to create theme for that, so here add floating action button theme, then add floating action button theme and set its background color to the primary color, now here we have defined the theme for floating action button and we set its background color to primary color, now in your UI wherever you have used floating action button. In all the places this color is going to apply by default, because we have manually mentioned this color for our floating action button. Now we have these two elevated button, so let's also create theme for them, so here add elevated button theme, then add the style then add button style then inside it first add the padding for the button, so in elevated button all the properties is accountable with the state property, so here we need to add widget state property then add all then here add the padding. So let's add symmetric padding which will have vertical 20 and horizontal of 40, then here add the shape of the elevated button. So again it will going to have widget state property then here add a rounded rectangle border and add the border radius to 20, then also add the background color and background is going to be secondary color, now this is the elevated button style which is going to apply on all the elevated button in our application. This is going to be the default theme for our elevated button. So now let's also create the theme for text so here add text theme then add text theme, so there is three type of text, title small title medium and title large, so as the purpose of this video, I'm just adding its color as black and changing its font size for different text. You can add as many customization as per your requirement. So now just copy this text style and do the same for title, medium and title large. Just change the font size. Now this was for the light theme and now copy this whole theme and paste it below one more time, and name it to the dark theme, then change the brightness to dark and now let's change primary color to secondary color then, 
Here add the floating action button background color to the secondary color. Then afterwards change the background color of the button to the primary color, then change the text color to white because now our background is going to be black. Now this was it for the theme part. Now let's create one more class for managing the theme, so let's name it as theme manger then here create a class as the theme manager, which will have change notifier thing, now here create a theme mode variable and initialize its default value with the light theme. Now create the getter for the theme data and its current value is going to be this theme mode. Okay now create a method to toggle the theme so this method will take a variable that, is dark mode or not. So here if is dark mode is true, then we will change its theme to dark, otherwise, we will change its theme to light, now add the notify listener so that whenever this theme mode get change, it will notify our UI, okay so here in this code. If dark mode is true then dark mode is applied and if it is not then the light mode is applied. Now come to the main file and create the instance of the theme manager. Then here come inside this my app state method and here override the init method, then. Come inside this method, and here add the listener for this theme manager. Now let's create this theme listener so that here add the theme listener, and let's check that if it is mounted, then we will notify the UI, then add the dispose method to dispose this listener. So remove this listener when the app get closed, now come inside this material app and here add the default theme to the light theme, which we have just created and then add the dark theme which is also created by us, then here add the theme mode and this theme mode is coming from the theme manager, so here add the theme manager dot theme data, and I don't know why it's not showing, I guess. We have some issues so let's fix this. So yeah. Here we need to remove this because this is not a private variable and yeah now the error is gone, now afterwards come inside this and here create a switch button to toggle the theme, so its current value is going to based on theme manager's theme data. Now add the value parameter then inside the curly braces, here add the theme manager then call the toggle theme method, and then pass this value inside this, now if value is true which mean the dark theme is applied, then make its theme to dark, otherwise it is going to be light theme. And now this value parameter will depend on that if it is true or false. So here add a check that if current theme is equal to dark, then this value is true, otherwise it is false, ok now here tap on the switch button and it's not working, so let's do one thing, restart the whole application, now theme part is working, but the switch button state is not working, so let's fix this, so for that add the set state here so that switch button can be toggle, now restart the application. Now the switch button is working, but the color is not behaving as per our requirement. I got the issue so from here remove this container color, and set it to the primary canvas color. This will come from the theme, now if you toggle between this switch button then you can see the background color is changing as per requirement, and all the text color and button color is changing, as it's supposed to be, Let's also change the container's color, so here add the primary color for both this container. Ok now you can see the container's colors is changing as per it should be. Now there is a one problem that in the light mode the text is not readable, so let's fix this issue. Of the elevated button. So come inside theme file and then come inside elevated button theme of light mode, and here add the foreground color property, and here add the white color for this, now if you restart the application, then you can see the text is readable, and the whole thing is working fine. So yeah, this was it for this video. If you like this video, then please give a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to Widget Wisdom, then please do subscribe to us.